Welcome back to Make Way for Cat. Uh, this is it. This is the final countdown. So she is taking, she wants us to go to the ritual site and she asked that we have all the plants that, down that we need. So I unlocked this with some of this guy, Clav Clavillium. And we got this, follow the Dudden tributary to its source. So we're going to do that first. The Dudden tributary. Dudden tributary to its source, which is here. Or the tributary. Here. Tributary is an offshoot, right? I think it is. I've never seen this plant before, and here it is growing in abundance. I don't know what you are. It's okay. We did that. I feel like we might need it, though, so I'm going to grab it and move it over to this shelf. So first is the corpse friend, and I think that's the one that grows out of... Um, Devil's Nightcap, known as the corpse, corpse's friend. I don't think we moved it down. We knew exactly what it was, though. Devil's Nightcap. So this is actually, we're going to call this one number one. So I don't forget, that's the first in the order. Then comes the ankle grabber, the binder, which is this one. So this is number two. Number three is the fear bringer. Is this it? Is this the widow's woe that we've been looking for? The widow's woe is the one that um, instills fear, if I remember, because um, we were able to get it said to induce fear. Yeah, and it's got the bended dainty dark flowers grow out from a bed of long thin leaves. Dark red flowers. We're going to go with this as Widow's Woe. Fear inducing number three. Okay. Fourth, to lift a curse. We've used a curse lifter before. Rash Cure, Courage. Tummy Aches, and the Guild Dentra. Amnesia, Pain Relief. Causes Pain. Finding Missing People. Breaks Curses. Worth to Lift a Curse. We'll label this number four. Okay, and last, a petal to secure Black Blood's reverse, which is the en endorphinium. Where are you? Here. The Miasma Enerdote. Let me actually look at the entry before we actually decide on it. This is the antidote to the... Yeah. Causes the blood to slowly turn black. Oh, wait, no, this is the bad one. The petals of this flower can be brewed to create an antidote. Oh, okay, a deadly poison that causes the blood to slowly turn black. This is the, the antidote. So, Elderfinium, it is. Uh, where did I just put it? Right here. You are number five, my dear. And we'll label that as such. Done. Okay. I don't put them in here, do I? No. I think we're gonna go. Okay. Um, wish me luck, Hellbore. Wish me luck. I believe it's here.
Oh, okay. Ooh, whoops. Ooh, okay, don't mess that up. Talk to her again. Or look at her again. It is time the servant is on the move again. Meet me at the ritual site. Ah, now I'm gonna lose because I don't know where the ritual site is. Maybe she has said said something. Okay. I find it pays to upload a certain image. Yeah, this is the one where she wanted something to turn a kid into a toad. Yeah, Reuben Ward has called on my unique expertise to aid in this investigation. At the Swinside Stone Circle. Unique expertise. Ha, he knows how to flatter an old woman when he wants something. I thought about telling him to suck an egg. Gave it a good long thought, actually, but my curiosity has gotten the better of me. He must be desperate if he's coming to me, and I'll bet they found something juicy down there. Signs of a ritual sacrifice, maybe. I could do with some witch fig to take with me. I have returned from Swinside. I must admit, I was hoping for more to go on, but there were certainly signs of a ritual having been performed at the Stone Circle. Okay. Did I... Oh, did I need to actually click on the stone circle and not Swinside? Oh, it says Swinside Stone Circle. Why was that wrong? Why was that wrong? Ugh. I don't want to get this wrong. Oh, let's go back in and read. Okay. A ritual being performed at the Stone Circle. While this is getting interesting, I was able to confirm that it was indeed Gilded Dender that was used at the Swinside Ritual Site. It's a plant that is used in several of the darker incantations, and it can't be a coincidence that the very same plant was used to poison the Arda. There must be a connection between this other murder and the sisterhood. I need some mental clarity to think it through some more. Okay. I think I know what ritual was performed at the stone circle. Okay, she keeps saying that the ritual was performed at the stone circle, so it's gotta be this. Uh... But I just clicked on it and it was wrong. Okay. It, yeah. I'm in trouble. Uh oh. Okay, it's not this key. I think it's this one. Nope. The bottom needs to be... One less than the other. This one. I'm already drawn to this one. Wow, look at all these keys. I'm actually looking at them all now. This is the only one that seems like it makes sense to me. Um... There is this one. This one is thicker on the side. Is it supposed to be thicker on the side? But the bottom's... Right, this would be the top. This is not actually the bottom. This is the bottom. This is the more the correct bottom. I'm going for it. Okay. I'm gonna scroll all the way back down to her. 
It's time. The servant is on the move again. Time to act. Meet me at the ritual site. I hope, for all our sakes, you've been able to track down the plants we need. Um... Okay, she doesn't mention anything else about the ritual site. How about our detective friend here? Um, for a ritual that will help defeat this creature. I want to help in any way that I can. Okay, we did find that. I talked to Verona again. Um. Why? Why is this ritual site eluding me? I don't have it written down anywhere. Oh, you know what? Let's check that note again. The one that I kept for this. The Great Oak. The Great Oak. It's literally right here in front of my face. All right, this is ready. The Great Oak, which is here. A huge tree stands before me, impossibly tall and wide, bigger than I could ever have imagined any living thing might be. Its upper branches graze the sky. Wait. I had to scroll down? Did I have to scroll down? I had to scroll down, didn't I? Alright, give me a minute. I realized there was a scroll bar as soon as I clicked. I didn't get any death threats, so, uh... Oh, we're good? No. Back to the Great Oak. I think it was here, but I'm just gonna do this again. Right at the top of the trees. Scroll down. What? Alright, let's take a note. Look at the- maybe I read the note too fast. To the south of the Watcher, the Great Oak, and the Dendru was ousted from this world. Was created near Blackcomb to the south of the Watcher, the Great Oak. Oh, it's the Watcher is the Great Oak, so it was created to the south of that. Okay, so the south, it would be here then. Right in the forest. We're getting this. We're getting this. Okay. Watering can, get up there. The Great Oak, here. Got it. Ooh, there's five wells. A small stone shrine sits off to one side of the clearing. Five grooves run out from the center of the stone, widening into recesses at the base. Five slots for five plants. Uh, first... Devil's Nightcap, Swift Snare. Widow's Woe. And finally... Oh, we did it! Well done, I'll take it from here. I'm starting to lose my voice. Between this and Arceus, I've shot a lot of episodes lately. I stand back and watch as Verona walks around the shrine, muttering soft incantations. It feels like a long time passes before she looks up, but in reality it was perhaps only ten minutes. Nothing's happening. What do you mean nothing's happening? Have we got the right plants? 
I think so. Perhaps we just need to be patient. Oh, gosh. A loud noise behind us makes us all jump. Turning around, I see something that makes my blood run cold. The woman in the jade mask is walking calmly and slowly toward us from the other side of the clearing. Behind her, standing tall and terrifying, is the black silhouette of the servant. What was that about being patient? I think we're out of time. Do not be afraid. I am here to surrender willingly. The servant cannot be allowed to... Ugh. The creature lunges forward and brings a huge arm scything towards her. Her scream pierces the cold air and she drops to her knees, clutching her head. But the blow seems to glance off to one side as it comes hurtling down and the beast's claw ends up embedded in the dirt instead of the woman's back. I can't hold it back much longer. You need this. She throws a small vial of red liquid, which Reuben deftly catches and holds up to the light. Blood. Quickly, I know what to do. Verona grabs the vial and fumbles to get the stopper out as she turns back to the shrine. The servant has its huge arm free again and is slowly advancing with strange jerking movements. Verona pours the blood into a small cavity in the shrine and everything seems to happen at once. A pillar of bright white light launches out from the shrine towards the servant and hits it in the chest. The huge beast shrieks and staggers backwards, drowning out the screams of the woman in the jade mask who is clutching her head and writhing in agony on the ground. Ooh. There is an almighty thunderclap and a blinding flash of light and suddenly the servant is gone. A patch of charred ground smolders where it stood just moments before. My head is spinning at what just happened. Did it work? Have we defeated the servant? Ooh. Banished. Achievement unlocked. With the dust settled and the servant vanquished, I have been able to reflect on the events of the last few weeks. We were fortunate that Thea was able to stay in control of the beast for as long as she did. Who can say what would have happened if she was unable to prevent it, causing the destruction it craved? I mean, we didn't even have access to the the widow's woe plant that she was looking for. Well, she wasn't looking for it. I think we could have given it to her on purpose to make her weak. Um... Undermare has never felt so jubilant, so full of life. All the nervous tension that had built up evaporated in an instant, and the people have plowed their energies into celebration and merriment. They do not know the whole truth, of course, that Thea, the woman in the jade mask, was the one who summoned the, the servant. I... Thea... I promised Reuben that I would leave it to him to unravel that mess. She is his daughter, after all. Oh, I don't know why I didn't connect that in the story in between the days. It talked about a father who lost his wife and drank. And um, Verona actually mentioned that since his wife died, he hasn't been able to let go of the bottle. Oh, man. And as for myself, well, I'm back in the calm of strange horticulture, of course, with Hellbore for company. It's quieter around here, but I'm content, and there are always more plants to learn about and discover. Ending. The Sleeping Dendru. It is done. The servant can go back. Oh, in hiding. Ha! Suck it, Ennis. The servant can go back to being a dark story for dusty shelves. Ending to Elder Finium. The Elder Finium was the uh, curse reversal, well not curse reversal, but the black blood poison reversal. So we have alive, alive. Wow. We could have lost a few people, I think. We did lose Bethany. Ah, that's her daughter too. That's a bummer. Faye. In hiding. Oh, this is Thea. The woman in the jade mask. It is unlikely she will ever fully recover from the trauma. I might have a plan for that. It's not been seen since the defeat of the servant. There are rumors he is living in Rydell Cave once again. <laughs> Both his body and his pride have been damaged, but he lives. He was such a weirdo, but I really liked him in the end. Insane. This guy. I can't stand him. A shadow of his former self. He stays indoors, muttering to the walls. <laughs> Yeah, that was my bad. 
But I didn't want to murder him. Right? I could have murdered him. I could have murdered him. I think Thea could have been murdered as well. What a fantastic game. I was addicted to this game from start to finish. Um, I even put off Legends Arceus to finish this game. That's how much I'm addicted to it. Uh, yeah. Characters, it's such a simple design, but it's so, so good. Like, figuring out the plants, um, the puzzles with the map. They were hard, but not... Like, I've played a lot of puzzle games where you're like, honestly, I have no clue what to do here. Sometimes you just had to think about it. I think I only used a hint once, but that's because I had a dumb preconceived motion, notion that spores only come from fungi. Ah. Oh, this game was so good. I I I feel like I want to play it again to see what else can happen. But man, that was so much work. <laughs> What a great game. Bummer I had to mute the music through all of it because of copyright strikes. But, hey. What a great game. I think I got the best ending. I think. We only had one person die. I don't know if we could have prevented her death. That one kind of just came out of, out of thin air. Just one day it was like, hey... It, like, destroyed most of the coven. And it's like, ugh. But wow. Wow, what a great game. Rob Duncan. Kudos to you. Kudos to you. I saw his name come up in quite a few. I don't know if I'll ever stop saying it. This is a great game. I would put this... I don't know if I would call it Game of the Year. It's still early. Still very early. But this would go on the top 10 list of my favorite games of 2022. We're just in January. I love this game. A game by Rob and John Duncan. Both of you. Kudos. Kudos. Oh, John did the art. Like, what a great immersive story, and you never left your shop, per se. Oh, I think I'm seeing um, credits repeat itself, so we're just going to go ahead and continue. Earlier. Oh. What? Are we back? 58 out of 77 plants identified. Have you heard of the Monastery of the Black Veil? Vale? I think it would interest you. I learned of it from a man from Ravenglass. If you're ever in that part of the world, you should ask him about it. He owns the Horseshoe Inn on Main Street. Oh, great. You know what? I think this is where we're going to end the episode. Just what the end, end game is, and then this will be the next. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this fantastic ride as much as I enjoyed playing it. And I hope to see you in the next one.